Never ever start collecting silver. <laughs> Why don't you want to start collecting silver? Well, I started out with these walking liberties. Look at that bad boy. <whistles> with the eagle on the back. Nice. And I got one. Then I got another one. Then I got another one. <laughs> Then I got another one. Then I got another one. Before you know it, you're stacking silver. That wasn't good enough. So I said, well, I want something different. So the next time I went in, I got, let me put on my spectacle. I got this Australian kookaburra. And I hope you can see that. You can pause the video and look at it if I get it in the right place so you can see it. It's pretty neat. And then it's got the queen on the other side. And this one's polished up. It's pretty nice. But the thing is, I started out with the walking liberties. Now I have this. And so then you get in the habit of every week, you go out and start looking for silver. So let's see, next I went out and he didn't really have anything, but he did have a bunch of these Canadian maple leaves. Let me see if I can get it out of the package here so you can see it better. Canadian maple leaf. I hope you can see that. Pretty good. And it also has a picture of the queen on the front. So that's another one that I purchased. I'm going to put that back. So then I went back the next week and what did I get the next week? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for these and how much they're worth. I got some Indian head. And then it's got the buffalo on the reverse side. Huh. So that's, that's why you don't never want to start. Because now... I've got these, got the maple leaves. What am I going to do next? So next, I wanted something different. So then I started collecting bars. It's pretty neat. Hope you can see that. So I got that bar, and then. The next week I went back to a different place and he had this bar. I picked it up and it has the Indian head on this side. Hope you can see that. It's cool. So that's the thing is the more you get, it's not that it's very valuable because it's not. You know, there's they're probably worth 20 bucks a piece for retail. I mean, if you're a dealer, you're going to get 27 to 30 dollars a piece. But to you and me, when you go to sell it, you're probably going to get 20, 22 dollars a piece. But then after that, I went back and I got another one. I don't even know who this is. American Eagle. It's called an American Eagle and then it's got somebody on the front but I don't know who that is so then that's pretty much what he what, what the people had that I go see and I said well he actually he ran out and the, the Canadian maple leaves were the ones that he had the most of. And he sold out of all those. 
And then I found some of these. He has some of these five ounce coins in the bottom of this cabinet that have been there forever. And he had a price on them that I was not willing to pay. On this side, it looks like a penny. Hope you can see that. Hope you can see that okay. But I thought that was pretty cool, especially the picture on the back. White Mountain, New Hampshire, 2013. 2013. So I picked that up. Now I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this. I paid 165. And I was looking on the internet. And if you buy one from the coin dealers on the internet, you're going to pay uh, around $300 for this. 300 bucks. So I, I came out okay on that. I, that was good. So then last week I went out again to look out. This is why you don't want to start collecting silver. You don't want to start stacking silver and collecting silver. Let me show you what else I got. So I went back and he didn't really have anything. But he had this, um, let's see, let me see what it is. 1986 Walking Liberty. This is newer. It, it, it's, it, well, it's older than the, what, I had, what I showed you before. But it's still newer. 86, is that what it says? Yeah, 86. But it's starting to get a rainbow type finish on it. And he sold that to me pretty reasonable. And so, let me take it out of package. You want me to take it out of package? I know what you're saying. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. And it's starting to get tarnished. And it's a, it's a rainbow. It looks, if you look at it just right in the light, it's a nice rainbow finish. It's starting to get there. So I'm going to keep that. And uh, he didn't have any, any uh, of the other stuff, so I bought that. And then I bought this 1921 Morgan. 1921 Morgan. Pretty nice, nice eagle on the back. And this is a S. So it's from San Francisco, I believe. So I showed you this one. I bought this one a while back. 2013 White Mountain, New Hampshire. I got that one. Pretty cool. So I went back and he didn't have any more. He had he had some walking liberties, but he wanted like 35, 40 bucks a piece for him. And I said, no, nope, not paying that. But he didn't have anything else. So I found this 2015 Bombay Hook, Delaware. So now I got two of these bad boys. <laughs> They're different, different states and stuff. But this is a 2015, and it has the penny on the other side. Very neat, very cool. And he sold me this one for the same price as he sold me the other one. And I checked this one out on the internet, and these are selling for around over $300. It's not because of the silver content, it's because of what it is. On the silver, the silver content, it should be, so this should be $135. I paid one. I lost track of where I was at, but I got this one first, the 2015. And... I paid 165. It's going for over 300 on the internet stores. And then I went back, and he still had one of these, and he sold me this for the same price. And I know I paid more, 165 for six ounces, but it's about 30 dollars over. But they're selling on the internet for over 300, so. I think I did okay on that.
Well, now I'm just going to show you what I've got here. And this is why you don't want to start buying silver, because you will just keep buying silver. Let's see, I got some other, they're very nice. This one is very nice. This one's pretty good, but it don't show as good in that case, but probably should get a better case for that one. So that's what I've been collecting, and that's why you don't want to start collecting. So you go to the flea market, and they don't have any more of the walking liberties. They don't have any more uh, of the Canadian maple leaves. But they should have a lot of these, but they don't. They're sold out. They don't have no more buffalo Indian heads. So then you do this. You start buying quarters <laughs> because they don't have nothing else. That's it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the